For over 25 years, Karis Bible College has helped believers of all giftings and backgrounds discover their God-given calling. With more students being discipled than ever before, God has expanded Andrew's vision to keep up with the rapid growth. A plan so big that it has required many leaps of faith and divine connections to fulfill. In the case of our student housing development, it took Seth Emerson and John Graham, two skilled architects whose journey to bring Andrew's vision to life came from learning to trust the plans of the greatest architect of them all. This is the Karis journey of Seth Emerson and John Graham. This story begins not with a dream, but a nightmare. When Seth realized his temporary accomplishments as an architect would not make a difference in the light of eternity. I was probably in my early 20s. I was living in Charlotte and was not satisfied with the life I was living at all. You know, I was had some success. I was working a good job and everything, but was still just really empty on the inside. I had this really vivid dream and I felt like I was falling down this dark shaft, this dark tunnel. I could feel myself like accelerating. This path I was on, this is where I was going. I woke up screaming. I think that's when I really started getting serious about calling out to God. I heard about Andrew through my mom actually. My mom had gotten born again. That was when I started asking my mom more and she actually found a church for me uh, in Charlotte, in the Charlotte area. And that's where I ended up getting saved and baptized. As Seth began his journey with God, another future architect in a school several states away started to ask himself some hard questions about the deeper meaning to both his career and his life. It was my freshman year of college. Once again, I was trying to figure out what God had called me to do. Didn't go fully astray, but I was, I was still in, in certain ways kind of doing my own thing. It was one of the first times where I had heard God's voice personally as I was seeking Him and like God telling me, if you obey me, I can take you to great places. Guided by the Holy Spirit, John finished his degree in architectural design and received the next step from God, one that made little sense in the natural. Leave the safety and security of a well-established career to enroll in Karis Bible College. I was newly married, working for an architecture firm in Iowa. We had talked about going to Bible college. I was prepared to do whatever God wanted me to do. Um, and I thought that maybe it was, it was stepping back from, from architecture and doing more ministry. That was me trying to, to figure out the process. That was me trying to put all the pieces together. I was watching a live Bible study with Greg Moore and Carrie Pickett. It was almost like God just hit me with a bolt that I got to go to Karis. I'm speaking specifically uh, to uh, to someone that God, you, you, God's put the desire in your heart, but he, the provision's not coming, the, the way's not going to be made until you make that commitment. I knew if I didn't, I was going to miss out on something amazing. Like John, Seth put his life on hold to relocate to Woodland Park, Colorado an old mountain town with little opportunity for young architects. During this time of surrendered dreams and open hearts, God worked behind the scenes, preparing a project bigger and more fulfilling than any they could ask, think, or imagine. Beginning of my second year, I heard the Lord really speak to me to sow of my abilities. I had an opportunity just before class to uh, talk with Andrew, and through the course of our conversations, it came up that I was an architect. And as soon as I told him that, he said, well, I have a project um, that we're thinking about doing. Okay, we're ready to turn some dirt out here, have a groundbreaking for our student housing. Here we go, one, two, three. Immediately, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, this is the ground I want you to sow into. I ended up going into this meeting and uh, over at headquarters and Here's Billy Epperhart and Mike and Carrie Pickett and Andrew Wirtz and all, all the top executives. And I remember I tried to go sit at the very back of the, of the table and Billy was like, no, you come up here. He just started talking about Andrew's vision for the student housing. Like Andrew wants to get going on the drawings. 
And oh, and by the way, Seth is gonna do them. That's when the idea for Kingdom Design Group came into my, into my mind. It was almost an immediate download. I also knew I needed help. I needed a licensed architect who was of like faith. So I put an ad in Karis Word of Mouth and I literally had a response from John the next day. As Karis graduates, Seth and John started their business, Kingdom Design Group, with the same trust in the Holy Spirit that led them to quit their jobs and relocate to Colorado. Their focus of bringing Jesus into the world of architecture reflects Andrew's heart to expand the kingdom of God into every sphere of society. The premise of Kingdom Design Group is an architectural firm for ministries. We are to come alongside and serve other ministries in fulfilling God's vision that they've received from Him. Every Monday we have our weekly meetings and we pray. We're not just doing the work mundanely, we really truly believe in the work that we're doing here. Just like Isaiah 54 says, you know, expand the places of your tent for soon you'll be bursting at the seams. I feel like we're expanding the places of God's reach. As you get close to God, if He's the one that called you to be in business, if He's the one that's called you to be an architect, growing closer to Him is only going to make you a better architect. It's only going to make you better in that area that, that He has put inside of you. And Seth and John serve as just one example of the connections God has orchestrated through Karis, a place that couldn't exist without the faithful support of our friends and partners. Thank you, partners, for everything that you do to enable this ministry. The physical things that you're donating, they're impacting nations, they're impacting countries, they're impacting generations. Without your support, none of this would be possible, and I know the best is yet to come still. As Andrew's vision continues to expand, we know that it will take many more leaps of faith and divine connections like Seth and John to fulfill. Their story reminds us that when we trust God with the plans, He opens doors and guides our steps in a way grander than we can ask, think, or imagine. When you serve Him, you serve the greatest architect of them all.